going to discuss about uh, lambda based design rule so what is the term so in this term is uh, the design rule is based on the single parameter that's called as a lambda so why the designer prefer lambda based design rule so this rule is very simple and wide acceptance this rule is mainly prevent closing and open and contact is slipped out of area to be conducted so that's why the lambda based design rule is very important while designing of layouts so in this board i draw the different structures so how the metal is represent and metal 2 is represent diffusion polysilicon and metal 1 with diffusion contact metal 1 with polysilicon contact how two metals are connected via so first one is metal one so metal one is represented in this rectangular box within the rectangular box using forward slash so this symbol is represent metal one so width of the metal one is four lambda so width of the metal one is minimum width of the metal one is four lambda and spacing between these two metal is four lambda so here in this design rule so minimum width is 4 lambda but below that value it's not acceptable more than that value it acceptable so then come to metal 2 so metal 2 also using the rectangular box within the rectangular box dotted point is mentioned so this symbol is called as a metal 2 so in this metal 2 the width of the metal 2 is 4 lambda and spacing between the two metals so metal 2 is 4 lambda then come to diffusion so this shared portion of rectangular box is denoted diffusion so it's called as a n diffusion or p diffusion so width of the minimum width of the diffusion is 4 lambda the spacing between these two diffusion is 4 lambda so here metal 1 metal 2 and diffusion so all the three pores the width is 4 lambda and spacing between these two term is 4 lambda then come to polysilicon so in this polysilicon also represent rectangular box with backslash so this backslash is placed inside the rectangular box it's called as the polysilicon so width of the polysilicon is 2 lambda spacing between these two polysilicon is 3 lambda so here all the parameter is a minimum value so minimum value below that value is not acceptable more than that value is acceptable so here width of the polysilicon is 2 lambda and minimum spacing between these two polysilicon is 3 lambda then come to metal 1 with diffusion contact so here contact is represent the fully shared portion this fully shared portion is represent contact this contact is surrounded by diffusion so this diffusion layer is surrounded by the contact above the contact and below the contact the spacing is 1 lambda so diffusion and contact the spacing is 1 lambda above and then come to metal 1 and polysilicon contact so here the contact is placed inside the polysilicon layer so this polysilicon is surrounded by the contact the length of the contact is 2 lambda and width of the contact is 2 lambda then come to metal 1 metal 2 wires so in this structure two metals are connected so here the minimum spacing between these two contacts are 3 lambda then come to the structure cmos inverter structure so it's a simple cmos inverter structure in this structure we have a pmos transistor and nmos transistor so first i give the vdd and vss to this structure so here this forward slash line is represent metal so this metal is connected to vdd and vss then this rectangular portion is called as the n well so inside the n well p type semiconductor is diffused so this portion is called as the pmos transistor this portion is called as the nmos transistor so this one is polysilicon layer this one is metal so here the spacing between these two transistor is 12 lambda so 6 lambda plus 6 lambda so totally we are allocating the minimum spacing between pmos transistor and nmos transistor is 12 lambda so it's a simple structure then this polysilicon layer width is extended up to 2 lambda 
so over the end wall the polysilicon layer is extended so this extended length is 2 lambda so it's a simple structure for cmos inverter so i hope you understand the concept very well if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos thanks for watching my channel thank you